Hi, it's Grant Abbott speaking. Welcome to this session on Trust Distribution Minutes prior to 30 June of this year. Um, at any time you need support, down here on the right hand side you see chat. Please feel free to jump in there at any point in time. So I'm looking at uh, Trust Distribution Minutes. So easiest, I can either, well, you can see I've got all my caps on. I'll just turn those off and I'll go into Trust Distribution Minutes. So start the document. Uh, I'm on the obviously unlimited. I'll put that into my one of my pre-existing folders, uh, which is the Abbott test. And so I know where it is. Uh, when I come in, I'm going to give it a special name for us so we can go and have a look. So I'll do Abbott test distribution minutes. I'll use the Abbott Morley logo. So watch carefully as I go through, I'm going to explain quite a bit. So what's the name of the trust? So we're going to use the Smith Family Trust. When was it originally established? So we need to go back and have a look at the D because that actually makes a big difference. 1992. Um, if you've got, as you can see here, sometimes it doesn't pass on because it goes red. So the easiest way to do that, see, all I have to do is go up, click on that, and once it goes black, then I can move on. Otherwise, I get caught. I've done, dealt with quite a few um, deeds recently that go back as late as this. In fact, anything prior to 2000 should actually be changed over. Really important. It's easy to go and update the deed on the Lightyear Doc site, um, and that will not create a resettlement, guaranteed. Um, so let's go to the company. We've got a Smith nominees which is the uh, corporate trustee. I need to put in PTY Limited. I've got my ACN handy, then off and running. Then I'm gonna go down and I've got my address. Now this would generally be a, a registered office address. So if you're an accountant and looking at this, just make sure it's the same registered office as you, as where you are, obviously, if you're the registered office. I'll put in two directors, uh, John Smith, and I'm gonna put in his wife, Sally Smith. So they're both um, signing on behalf, so I need to tick those boxes. If I don't tick those boxes, it won't come up. Now I'll go through, just to make sure I don't wanna lose anything, I'm gonna save those answers. I can always do a document preview or alternatively answer summary. Um, we haven't got any resources here, but um, one day we'll have resources, so you're about to access those as well. Let's go to the trustee meeting. So this is a trustee meeting where you're considering resolve the proposals um, to effectively make distributions. Has to be before 30 June, so let's make it tomorrow. The time of the meeting, clients coming in um, in the morning, so 10 a.m. Uh, who's going to be at the meeting? John, Sally. John is the chair. Now, because I've already put the address in earlier, um, it's actually in the system, so I can shortcut it, press um, uh, select, uh, and then up will pop that uh, detail. Now, the first thing, there's, there's three or four questions that need to be answered before we get to distribution. The first one is determine income. How do we know where to determine income? Now, if you're using a Lightyear Docs discretionary trustee, then we can use 4.1. Now, um, we've gone through and you'll see everywhere um, that uh, we've given you a bit of a cheat sheet on that one. So again, remember the red's coming up, so I can't go anywhere. So what I need to do is just press up the trustee meeting, go back here um, and you see 4.1. Classes and type of income, mm, I don't really know what it is. My cheat sheet says 6.1, but let's assume we're not using a Lightyear Docs D. Therefore, if you don't know the clause, lead blank, it'll be considered as being allowed under the deed. So that's not a bad one. I'm gonna do the same one there. Income calculation. Well, this year I've got some, uh, I've got some uh, cash flow bonus. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go net accounting income because that's something that's not accessible, not exempt. I'd like to pass it out, but it's not net income under the Income Tax Assessment Act. So then we go to distribution. Here it's 4.1 under Lightyear Docs D. So I'll use that just to show you the difference when we get down a little bit later on. Financial year 2020, now watch this, this is gonna be a little hack later on, watch it very carefully. Most important, if you get this right first up, you're gonna be pretty easy. Now you're gonna stream income, now you can only stream capital gains 
and also frank dividends. So I'm going to go yes. So add details of specific entitlement, streaming of frank dividends and capital gains. So the first one, what I'm going to do is I do that and I press tab. And so that now starts to put the persons down. So I've got John Smith here. And what John is going to do is get, I've got a choice of a dollar amount, uh, percentage or tech. So I'm going to do 100% of uh, capital gains. It should be net capital gains that comes out, net capital gains. Um, now, then I'm going to go here. So I've done that one and I press tab. So this is my company. So I'll call it Bogan PTY Limited, um, ACN. Um, and then I'm going to do here. Now I could do it 100%, oops, dollar, 100% of franked dividends. I want that bucket company to be ripe and full with franking credits. So I've covered the capital gains and I've covered the frank dividends, cash flow bonus, ESIC tax free, all those other amounts can't be streamed. So what I need to do is just sit in here and then work that out. So it's like our SMSF will or our will where we have specific gifts and then we're gonna look at the, the totality of the income. But I need to complete it here. Have I got any trust I'm gonna to distribute to? I've got no and any charity and I've got no there as well. Now again, remember how I just did that it was red. So now I'm going to get the big enchilada, the trust income. So what I've got here is I'm going to press, in fact, I might go to three. I'll just show you what to do. So the first one, we've got little um, Janine Smith, and we're going to pay her $417 or whatever the amount is that's tax-free. I must have been a bit, uh, I, I haven't got that on me at the moment, uh, but if I wanted to find out. Um, so, tax of uh, minus threshold. So, if we have a look here, um, so the rates there are effectively, if you're a resident, 416. So, always oh, so close. So, so close. Anyway, let, let's get back. Where was I? Here I am, 416. That other dollar would have been taxed at some ridiculous rates. So I've got that. Then I've got another little Bobby Smith. And again, $416. Um, now, then I'm going to have John Smith and uh, put um, any amount which might be able to be streamed to John that is non-accessible. So again, I'm only doing that because I'm not really sure, although we've had a lot of good advice around uh, the, we've had a lot of uh, good advice around the cash flow bonus but the commissioner still seems to be sitting there. So I'm, I'm, I'm playing the odds here. What I'm doing is saying, well, let's have a go. And if it doesn't, it's not able to be streamed, then I just simply don't stream it. So a company, um, I'm just have it. And remember our company, of course, is the old Bogan Proprietary Limited. And then we've got our ACN. So, and what's gonna be, um, all I have to do is just say, all oh, the L all the remaining trust income, which include accounting income, so on and so forth. So again, um, alternatively, what I could do is I might say instead of that, I might just put in there, um, uh, for example, $10,000. Oh, Oops, sorry. $10,000 of cash flow bonus accounting income. So again, if, if, if we can't stream that out, we can't put it out, then we don't do that. But you obviously you can still do the accounting income. So is there any other trusts? Uh, no. Uh, any other charities? No. Uh, and again, just click up here and you see how it goes by. Now, beneficiary. So sometimes the tax office come back and say, look, you haven't distributed everything. So there might be someone else we're going to uh, distribute it to. So what we'll do is we'll do Sally Smith here. 
Um, and I'm going to leave it blank because I can't look. I've had a look at the deed. I don't know where it is, although we've got it in here. And we can put four. So that looks okay. So um, I can finish that. Um, and that renders the document. Um, and then what we're going to do now is we're going to have a look at the document pretty quickly. Again, that's specifics, then the total amounts are good. So it's just rendering away there. Um, and now we have a look at the document. We'll have the Abbott Morley uh, sign on it. So we've got uh, Abbott Morley, a uh, discretionary trust distribution minute, Smith nominees as trustee for the Smith Family Trust. So that's good. Uh, we've got a minutes of a meeting trust distribution resolution. So we've got a bit of both there. So it's a meeting and binding resolutions. So we've got the attendees, chairperson, the quorum, um, Smith nominees, acts as trustee, income of the trust. Remember the chair noted that under clause 4.1 of the trustee, the trustee must determine income. So we've got that straight out of the Lightyear Docs D. But if you haven't got that, you don't know where to go, you can see if by leaving a blank, what comes up the chair noted to the extent permitted by the trustee, in accordance with the powers conferred on the trustee, the trustee has kept appropriate records. So that gives you the out anyway. Determination of income, it's the same thing. Distribution of income, same. Now, proposed distribution of income, I've got under 4.1. The chair proposed that in relation to the trust income for the financial year ending 30 June 2020, in accordance with clause 4.1 of the trust deed, the trustee shall distribute the trust income by either paying, applying, accumulating, or setting aside amounts as follows. So we've got our specifics. Remember, specifics are first. Net capital and frank dividends to Bogan. And then we've gone down and we've got our $416 to young Janine, who's 12, and Bobby, who's nine. $10,000 cash flow bonus, if possible. The rest goes to a Bogan. Um, and then we go through the distribution allocation. Uh, it's for 30 June 22. If there's an excess amount, then it goes to Sally Smith. Uh, it's all ratified there. Meeting closed, signed off and bingo, bango, bongo, we are done. Now, I just want to go through. So we get that signed off by the client. Now, here's the hack for the, all of those who are licenses uh, who are on our top level so you can access your vault at any point in time. So we go back in Abbott Test. So I want to show you, you guess what I'm doing now. So I'm going to go back into my account, remember? Abbott Test DM, so that was just done. I'm going to relaunch. You tell me what I'm doing. Now I'm opening up the interview um, system. Nothing's changed. Nothing has changed. Trust is the same. Trustee meeting is the same, except there we go. So next year, when it comes around to doing these, same. But now I know I'm, I've upgraded all my clients to the Lightyear Doc Steeds, and I've got here 4.1, income calculation. Now I'm gonna to go to net income now because I don't have any cash flow bonus. Distribution of income, 2021. Specific entitlement streaming, yeah, that's, that's still gonna be the same, no change. Trust income, yeah. So what I'll do is, for John Smith, I'll just go, $15,000. So again, you can start to see here, I've got a choice, dollar amount, percentage, or text, and then all the remaining trust income goes to Bogan. Beneficiary, it's the same, but I do know now it's clause four, and then effectively I finish. And now I've got a, another one. How easy, how long does that take? Did you time me? Well, it's no more than probably 70 seconds to prepare next year's uh, discretionary trust distribution minutes. And that's the beauty about an automated system such as the Lightyear Doc system. Sorry about that. The Lightyear Doc system, we go up and have a look. Next year, we make it easy. Same thing with investment strategies. It's absolutely brilliant. 30 June 2021, there you go. We've got there. This is for the year ending 30 June 2021. So that's how to make distributions, cash flow bonuses, and also pre prepare the system for ongoing forever to easily make trust distributions for your clients. It's great, Abbott, signing off.